Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Roots Tech. My name's Ian James and I'm a product manager at Family Search. Today I want to show you something called Get Involved. Get Involved is a reimagining of the volunteer experience at Family Search. It's meant to do three big things. Thing number one is that it's meant to become a hub for all volunteer activities at Family Search. For a long time, indexing has been the flagship volunteer activity at Family Search. You will notice that Get Involved has replaced indexing up here in the header. Now indexing is going to be one of the activities inside of Get Involved. So again, Get Involved is like an umbrella over all of these things. None of the URLs to indexing have changed. So indexing is still there. You can still get to it through the global header and you can still get to it through this tab inside of Get Involved. There's also a new component down here that we hope will become a new front door to indexing and be one click away from everything that an indexer needs to be able to get started on something or to get back to something that they were working on. More on that in a minute. If we go to indexing, you can see that it hasn't changed. It's the same indexing that everybody's familiar with. Bookmarks, et cetera, will all still work. Links that people have put on their websites, those will all still work. All of these URLs are the same. We have tried to not break this. All that we're trying to do is move it into a new home inside of Get Involved because there are other activities that we want to, want to introduce also that will live alongside indexing. Thing number two that Get Involved is meant to do is to make the evidence of the impact that your contributions have more apparent. For many, many years, we've said, come and index, it helps people, and you've taken it on faith that that's true. Well, in Get Involved, we want to bring the evidence back to you for every time a record that you've indexed is found by somebody and used to attach to the tree, to find their ancestors, etc. Each one of these cards represents a person who was found through a record that I contributed to somehow. This isn't real data, but when you see this, and these, this is your login, this will be real data, and these will be people that you helped find. We also want to go beyond saying, here's how much you've done, to being able to say, here's how much you've done to specific places that matter to you. So if I go and look for records from Bolivia that I'm going to go help and improve and index, et cetera, I wanna see how much I've contributed there. I wanna see how much I've contributed to, to places that matter to me. And that's what we're trying to do here with the worldwide contributions. You remember that I mentioned that indexing is going to be the first activity and that there were more to come. This correct names component, this card here, is the first of those new activities to come. This is an activity that's made possible because of the records that have been indexed by computers. We've talked about records indexed by computers in other videos. And as you know, they don't do as good of a job as humans do at getting everything right. It produces almost a proto record. It's a record that needs a little bit of help to be a fully qualified, high quality searchable record on family search. And so instead of indexing, we have these new activities like correcting names um, that takes that proto record and moves it to a high quality record. Reviewing names is the first one. There are more to come. This correct names activity will exist on the web and it will also exist in a mobile app also coming out at Roots Tech. We'll take a look at both of these. The third thing that Get Involved is meant to do is to let you pick opportunities very specific to you. When the computer generates a record, it might not be perfect, but we know a lot more about that record at that point than we did before. What that allows us to do is find opportunities that are very tailored to what you're looking for. We can get very specific about places. We can get even get specific about names. In this dialogue that you see now, you can see that searching by a name or an opportunity of where to improve records is now a possibility. In some ways, this kind of blurs the lines between volunteering to help and doing your own family history research, because now you can go focus on places and names where maybe you have a wall that you need to break through. And by improving records in those places or those names, you can break through those walls. That's one of the core missions of Get Involved is to bring that to you. 
But remember that these new opportunities and the ability to search in to content that you are very interested in is something that depends on records created by computers and that isn't available everywhere yet. By the time of Roots Tech, there should be computer created records available in the United States and in Latin America. If you live outside those places, for now, you'll have to wait. Let's take a look at what correcting names looks like on the web. If I come click start helping, I have an option to pick a country. Um, I think I'm gonna go with El Salvador actually and hit start helping. That'll load up this screen. You can see that it's brought an image to me that, that the computer indexed and it's highlighted a specific name, um, a word that we've identified as a name on that image. And now it's asking me, and actually we've, we've skipped an onboarding step um, that you'll see when you come to this the first time, but it's asking me, did the computer get this right? And I can look in that and say, you know, my Spanish isn't perfect, but I can tell that that does say Domingo. So I'm gonna say match. I could hit submit here, I could hit match here. They both work. This one, I don't know, that probably says Gomez, a native Spanish speaker would certainly know better than I would, but I'm not sure. And so I'm gonna click unsure. When I click unsure, it does not mean that this name gets forgotten. On the contrary, this will be surfaced or shown to somebody else, hopefully somebody who's better with Spanish handwritten names than I am, who can, who can make a better decision than I can. And so if I hit unsure, I don't have to worry. Somebody else is going to see that name. Now, let's say it's something that I think I know what it means, but I make a mistake. This looks like it says Amelia. I think that's right. But I was it was late. I was tired. I put in Amelia or something else instead, and I made a mistake. Whatever the original value was, and whatever my edit is, and by the way, whatever other edits people do after me, all of those things are going to be kept. And all of those things are going to be sent to the search system. And any of those variations um, can be used to find this person in this record. So if you make a mistake, it's okay. Just do the best you can and move forward. For Amelia, I'm going to say match. Like I said before, you can skip and there's no harm in that. At any point, I can, I can go back, I can fix any of these that I want, I can move forward. Um, as soon as I make an edit, you notice that little thing popped out on the side that said field saved. As soon as I make an edit, that gets saved into the record storage system. And a few minutes later, that's going to be searchable on Family Search. I can do all 20 of these, or if I'm pressed for time or I'm on my mobile phone, right? I can, I can jump in, do one name that takes five seconds, move on, and I'll have done something that helped. We've taken the minimum requirement of time and energy and complexity to be able to help and we've shrunken it to five seconds in one name on your mobile phone. That's what Get Involved is trying to do. So like I said, I can stop at any time and all of my progress will be saved. I'm going to hit unsure on the rest of these to skip through to the end. When I hit the end, all that I'm really picking here is when I want my next breakpoint to be. And maybe I don't want a breakpoint. And that's what this no limit option is for. I can hit no limit and it won't bother me again. I can just go. But if I want to stop here, I can stop here. Again, if I wanted to stop after one name, I could stop after one name and it, all, and it would have been saved and it would have made a difference. So that's what this looks like on the web. You can also see that there's an option to mark a transcription error. Also, you'll see that there's an option to switch to advanced editing mode. Switching to advanced editing mode is going to open up this record and allow you to change pretty much anything. Additionally, you'll see that there's a record details button. So in the event that you find somebody who you think may be one of your ancestors, you can go out to the record details page attach this person to the family tree, and then come back and keep going with name reviews if you want. But even if you don't, everything that you've done up to that point has been saved. And so you don't have to worry about losing anything. So now let's see what this looks like on a mobile phone. 
When I open up the Family Search Get Involved app on my mobile phone, I've got a country picker. Again, this is an earlier version, the one that you're probably seeing at Roots Tech. I'll have more options in this to let you be more specific about what you're looking for. Um, but for now, I'm going to pick El Salvador, say review names. It's off finding me an opportunity. Here we go. Ooh, these are hard ones. These are very old ones. Um, I will say unsure on that one. That does look like a Rosa. Um, a native speaker, I'm sure, would be much better at this than I am. Uh, so I'm going to stop there. But you can see that for the mobile app, all of the same options are there. Match, edit, unsure, same things apply. I can go back, I can go forward. I also have the option to flag something as this actually wasn't a person or the highlights incorrect. There are other options that we may add into here as we get feedback from, from users like you. Um, there's also this information thing up here in the corner that gives you tips on what the right decision to make is when you hit some of these stranger situations and some of these in more interesting mistakes that the computer can make. And there you go. That was a quick preview of Get Involved. Keep an eye out for more updates coming to the experience throughout the year. Thanks, and I hope you enjoy the conference.